It's purple. It holds pigeons and it's a palace. And it's fixing to get expanded today. Oh boy. Pigeon Palace coming. Barn restoration coming. And Arlo getting a haircut all the day. All the day. A car kill. Arlo, you ready for your haircut? I got it. All right. Let's go get a haircut. Yeah. But on a good note, Arlo gets to spend the day in the big city with us because we gotta go get our lumber for the barn and the aviary. Right? That's right. I've sent him crying over spilled milk. That's, That's right. fixing to get started on the pigeon palace the guys are here too working on the barn and of course arlo didn't get his hair cut y'all it just didn't work out but that's okay come on buddy let's go get started on that pigeon palace Hope you can hold a set of post hole diggers. You know I could use the help. Yeah. Look, we gotta set 18 poles. Y'all believe that 18 poles for this pigeon aviary. Whoo, that's a lot of poles, ain't it, man? It's gonna be fairly big. Uh, it's like 24 by 20, something like that. Whoa, hold your horses over there, man. 24 by 20, that's the size of the Pigeon Palace, I believe that's right. I got it all written down. I planned it all out the other day. All right, man. We're fixing to pull on in here. Are we? And don't worry about the post oak diggers. We got the, uh, we're gonna put the auger on the tractor, so it's not to dig that much. You ready to get started? Ready. Arlo, put your tool belt on. I told him he's going to get the post hole diggers out, and he said, no, nah, man, I saw that auger on the back of the <laughs> tractor. Is that ain't, what he said? Ain't going to be no post hole digging today. Yes, yeah, what he said. Arlo, you got to do something. That's what he said. Okay. So the plan for the aviary is to come off the Purple Pigeon Palace with several poles, and then once we get all the poles set, we're going to come back and put headers and rafters in once we get those in we're going to cover the whole thing with netting and hardware cloth and possibly a roof somewhere So we had a little situation um, come about. Got started on the Purple Pigeon Palace and the gentleman that's working on our barn said things were going way smoother than he anticipated and that he was moving quite fast and that what do we want to put on front of the barn and we hadn't really made that decision yet because we thought it was going to be a couple of days down the road. Well he suggested that there's already metal on the barn for us to go pick up some metal but we're like we don't want that shiny brand new metal going with all the rusted metal the vintage patina metal that's on there and so we were just racking our brains trying to figure out what to do and then a light bulb went off for me and i thought of something and that was 
to take the old tin off that little lean-to shed we got that's in bad, 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 bad shape in an area that had already fallen in and use that for the barn. So that ended up being a great plan. I went down there and did that and it took me a few hours to get around, I think it was 12 or 14 pieces off. Um, got that done, they've got it on there and it looks awesome. So I'm glad we did end up doing that. Now we can get started back on the Purple Pigeon Palace even though it is a little late and I don't foresee us getting too much done on it now, but at least I can get my corner post set and then that way I can square everything up. Ain't that right, Emu? Oh, Emu. I'm gonna tell you, you ain't a handsome fella, that's for sure. I'm not being ugly, I'm just letting you know you look like a Star Wars character. So it is the next day. We just ran out of daylight yesterday. Me having to stop working on the Purple Pigeon Palace and start taking off that old tin for the barn. We just had to stop and we're gonna get back on the Purple Pigeon Palace today, this morning. But we got a very, very small window because we got rain coming in. So we got like a couple hours to try to get, I think it's nine more poles set and if we can do that then we'll be home free so we're fixing to go feed all our babies and get started on the purple pigeon palace and the guys are coming back to work on the barn again and so we'll go show you guys what they've done and show you the barn transformation it just uh it'll be hopefully two walls done if not at least one wall done and yeah we're pretty excited today hey tucker good morning tucker Good morning, Gidget. I hear you, Gidget. <laughs> you want some food, Tuck Tuck? All right, let's get you fed. I know. There you go. There you go, Tuck. All right, babies. Mama's fixed to come get you. Get you too, Mildred. Man, y'all are going through the hay. Yes, y'all are. Going through the hay. Hey, Mildred. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Peachy. What's going on, Pete Pete? I'm getting your bowl, baby. Peachy said, get my bowl. Get my bowl. Mildred said, get my bottle. Mildred's frolicking this morning, wanting that bottle. Yeah, she's crazy, baby. I want to see you frolic. Peachy says she don't frolic. Hey, Peachy. Peaches is anti-frolicking. Yeah. <laughs> She's got blue in her eye from licking that cobalt salt block. Yeah. It's a sweet baby. I just so happened to have ordered two harnesses because I didn't know what size she would need. Yeah. She's got just a little bit of room in this one, but I have a feeling this pink is going to be short-lived. You're fixing to swap it out soon. Swap it out. The new one's purple. <laughs> Look at Loki and his women. I see Loki and Sylvie 1 and Sylvie 2. It's a sweet baby. Sweet, sweet milk. I see her out here skipping around. Yeah, she is, uh, <laughs> she's very playful. She is. She's kind of like a baby goat. Yeah. Very similar to a baby goat. You're gonna have to fill your hay up. I don't have any problem getting that second bottle in her now. Yeah, she takes the second bottle like nobody's business That's now. Right. She would come in the camper for the second yeah. bottle. 
that first week or so she wouldn't take that or the second bottle was hit or miss you look at my pants oh goodness big milk on your pants big milk what's going on boys what's going on guys Wait, what's up big boy you? come here what is a feather would you eat a goose or a duck we were coming with breakfast <laughs> We just a, we just a little bit behind. We're not too far behind. Come we on, thought you were playing hide and seek. I didn't see you over there. You ain't seen? Uh-uh. You get him and I'll get these. Okay. Finger. All right, blue man. Here you go, buddy. Yeah. More than likely. After we get through with the Purple Pigeon Palace, uh, we're probably going to start on Moo Man's new area and start planning his shelter. Uh, as y'all know, we're going to put him and Mildred and maybe some goats on the back side of here, this way bigger pasture. He's a big boy, so and he's a big pasture. So that will be coming up in the near future. Moody's new digs. Ain't that right, Moody? Well, hey, Tuck. Oh, you got your belly full and decided to come over here and help me? Yeah, oh my goodness. Is you a heavy full? girl this morning. <laughs> she ate a big breakfast this yes, morning. Yes, you did. That was a hearty breakfast. Big breakfast this morning. <laughs> yeah. You ought to, we ought to get some work out of you today. What are you doing, Foxy? What are you doing? What's you doing this morning? You know what I see? What? <laughs> Besides the running dog. <laughs> Foxy! That gets her going, don't it? Come on, girl! What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing this morning? Sunny must be sleeping in. Yeah, because she's not here yet. But you know what I spot? What? Bear. I don't know if I can get him on camera, but let's see. Look way across the pasture, in the middle of the pasture over there. White dot. Bear's asleep. He was probably sitting there all night last night barking. Oh, I bet he wasn't sitting. Yeah, he probably I bet he was running. <laughs> Patrolling. <laughs> hey, Timmy. Timmy and Melinda. You said Melinda's still sitting in the thing? Yeah, she's still sitting. What are you doing, Timmy? You calling Melinda, huh? Yeah. Come on, Melinda, get some of this scratch over here, girl. It's right here. I'm trying to show you. It's right here. Yeah. Come on, get some of it, Melinda. Yeah. Hey, Pip Sweet. Hey, buddy. I hear you over there talking. I see its legs. Long, ain't they? Mm-hmm. You think those are full-blooded modern games? This one, I don't think yes. I think Tiny Timmy might be the daddy. But the other two are Look the at long its, legs. its legs are quite short compared to the other yeah. ones. Yeah. And it's way older. It's about a week older than that. Oh, okay. Time. All right, the food and water looks okay. Yep. Y'all look at Scott. His tail's not all the way in by all means, but he's show, showing what he's got off. I hear you, Scott. Those ladies are taking notice. Yes, they are. Go, boy. Let me get him shaking. <laughs> so we got the chores done now let's see if we can get these poles in the ground before this rain comes you can see the sky it don't look pretty <laughs> but fingers crossed we can get it done Remember, mama's coming with the tractor
All right, so where we left off is we got, how many poles are we getting around? Eight? Four, eight, yeah. No, nine. No, nine, yeah. Nine, so we got nine That's left. That's half. We got half of them done. Um, we got to finish this outside wall here. And then we're going to come off here and come on around this way. So we got nine more poles to set. So the uh, aviary is going to come all the way out in front of this. And all this will be all wire. inside a wire enclosure, kind of like what a zoo would have or aviary, pretty much. But we got rain coming, so we got to beat the weather. We got to get on it. I see, <laughs> I see Tucker over there already checking out the four by four post. Go on, grab one, Tucker, and let's go. <laughs> she said it makes a good catwalk. <laughs> What you think about that, Ruby? You supervising? Hmm? You're supervising. Is that level? Huh? Is that level? We think it's level. We're gonna check it though. Let's see. That's pretty level. Bump a little bit. There That's we go. Level. Ruby, look at there. Got that level, Ruby. With your help. You'll be, you'll be proud of us. All right. That's good. That's good. Perfect. Level, Ruby. Go tell Peaches. All right. It's down in that hole. You checking it out? That past code? Huh? I hope so. All right. So we got what we wanted done accomplished what we set out to do we got done we got 18 posts in the ground for the aviary before um, it rains before it rains the rain is fixing to be here soon you can see how cloudy it is today and it's like a 80 or 90 percent chance of rain it's coming it's coming so I'm, this was this was huge i kind of <laughs> last night when i saw the chance of rain yeah. it increased i didn't think we'd get 18 posts completed this weekend yeah i didn't think we were gonna do it too then i was worried about the concrete because we had 18 bags of concrete in the back of the truck and then we'd have to find somewhere to Spoiler. unload it so yeah this worked out perfectly oh one more, man one more thing scratched off the list as far as the purple pigeon palace goes that's right it um you know we got to uh put some headers on and get that done and then we're gonna look at uh, netting that they use for aviaries, like at a zoo. And we're gonna just encompass the whole thing. We're gonna put hardware cloth on it. And we just discussed it a minute ago. I think we're gonna put a hot wire around the bottom too to keep any predators from trying to get in here. And we'll take our wire and go up under yep. a foot or so, two foot or so to deter any digging. But digging. if they can get past the hot wire yeah. and the wire, then underground they, they are yeah. a mighty critter <laughs> a mighty critter i think we'll be fine plus you know we've been here for three months now yep and knock on wood you better not i mean knock don't, on don't wood play. knock on wood we haven't had a predator issue whatsoever um i think our dogs are doing an excellent job as they did at little cog our great pyrenees uh foxy and bear are just great at what they do and then we have sunny who's not a livestock guardian dog, but I hear her barking and running with them at night, so she's doing her part as well. So Plus everything's fenced inside of a fence. That's right, so a large predator, like a coyote, would have to dig inside this fence, then dig inside another fence and get past the buried fencing and the hot wire. Other safety thing we're gonna do is, is we talked about it, and we're gonna put a double door in the aviary like they do have at the zoos. That way we don't have to worry about one of these pigeons flying out. You have to go in one area and then go in the aviary. And I feel like a lot more confident with that double door. 
finally see things coming together even yeah. if we just got posts in the ground that's that right. was a big step that is a big 18 step 18 posts is a lot of posts set and that's get right. level and get square you know we have a lot of people say that we like we love your old farm and how it had all that character well now you're seeing us build that character on the new farm that's right none of y'all got to see that really on the old farm because we started a youtube channel you know but pretty much after a lot of, a lot of that stuff had been done so now you're going to see the progression and how we made little cog look like it did here at the cock hill 40. even with so. the work that's being done on the barn that's right i mean you know when we came in and bought the place it had a lot of mismatched material yeah. that was crumbling and falling apart and so now with the repairs that are being done to that you'll be able to see the charm that we add to that existing structure as we make repairs absolutely and speaking of barn uh we're fixing to go down and see what the guys have done to the barn and take you guys with us and see the transformation of what the barn looked like and what it looks like now so we're really excited about that big time because you're getting a big eight foot barn door that's gonna slide that's right and all that good stuff oh, we're waiting for our hardware to come in for the sliding door the door's built but the, the door's built not here. yeah this is a some, lot going, lot on, going one on yep a lot going on at one time there's a lot building going on just it ain't on our house <laughs> You hear that hammer? I, I, I do That's hear them. Block. I hear them down there hammering on the block. Oh me! I what hear you, think? Tommy. Y'all think this Tommy. is for y'all, don't you? Let's go check the barn out. All right. Going down to the barn, and I can already tell you guys, I can see something already. This off. Awesome. The pool liner's gone. There was a blue pool liner across this whole back that's it right there because this block work was all messed up and you see he's fixed it for us he's come back and fixed all the block work so it's good to go now we can actually use this door which is not a door it's just a piece of plywood now but now we can put a door in here and use it before we couldn't because that blue pool liner or whatever it was was like a i call it a pool liner was across this whole back here you can see the difference in color and that covered this whole thing up so this is awesome maybe that rings the bell if i pull it huh it might. <laughs> all right let's go check out the rest of the barn and let's candle some hook bill duck eggs I have some more to put in. oh you got some more to put in good he does have to come back got more block work here he's got to fix but yeah, it's doing good. Let me show you guys the front. Look at here. You this so much is the front. Don't look way better. It is. Uh, that's our new door. It's gonna go up and it's gonna slide like a barn door. But I'm glad I was able to repurpose this old tin because it don't look good. I mean, I was just thinking if we bought brand new metal, it'd be so shiny, and the rest of the barn's got this old rustic look that this just matches it. Plus, this saved me. A good four or five hundred bucks because metal is crazy right now but don't look i love it i love it there's a new door the old door is gone uh we got a hardware ordered for this it's gonna go up here and it's gonna slide across the front like a real barn y'all know what's gonna look awesome on this old barn over here all this all of our tags aren't they gonna look great on there start putting our tags and signs on our old barn it's gonna be awesome he fixed all this block work over here all oh, that's done man love it love it love it also he set in some six by six post in here this had nothing here should have been a beam here was it one time and this one down here was uh just these concrete blocks stacked in the middle holding that beam up so got a six by six beam in there now so the barn is on the up and up that's what i'm talking about got it all framed out for us oh this is great ain't it bear this would have taken me three or four weeks to do took these guys two days two days can you believe that all right, so you're gonna put them in. Put that one in. You got three putting in. Mm -hmm. 
No, it's hard to tell which way is which. Well, that was almost perfectly round on each end. Which way do you think? I think that's the point of view. Your guess is good as mine on that. Look. Wow. Uh, I'm just going to say that in. <laughs> Alright, somebody's got in there now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. What you think, Sonny? You ain't never been in the barn. Now you can come in the barn. It hasn't been to where she took it in. I know. Oh, my gracious. Isn't it nice, Sonny? I'm so excited and proud of the I barn. I am so proud of it. This was one thing we loved about this place when we bought it was this barn. All right, you're getting your candle. Up. Ooh, man, this is a fancy thing here if I ever seen one. You got a darn microscope candle right there, don't you? Mm -hmm. That come from Brincy? Brincy. Brincia. I think it's Brincia. You know us. We don't have to say things right around here. I'll cut that one off. I don't see. You can see there's a little lens. That's interesting. There's a spot. Yeah, that's where it would be formal, but you can't really see anything. Yeah, it don't look good, does it? Maybe Moon and Venus hadn't bonded yet. They've bonded. <laughs> okay. I could say that. They they love each other. Okay. Come on, come here. You want to look at it? I do. There's some thundering going on. That oh. rain. We just beat, beat that rain, though, didn't we? Yeah. And so did the barn, guys. Turn it. Mary, I got bad news. It don't look good, though. I don't think they're fertile. They ain't looking good for the home team here. Can you try another one? I've tried like four of them. Well, we just keep on trying. If they bonded, then we're going to have some fertile eggs at some point. I mean, like, they follow each other around all the way, everywhere. <laughs> that one's a little bit orange or looking. No veins. No. Hmm. See? I'm not feeling it. How long has it been, Mama? Since we put them in there? Mm -hmm. At least a week. Yeah. More than that. I think it is longer than the week. That's a new one. I wrote December on it, okay. but I didn't write. Well, all is not lost. We yeah, still have like, a pair of hook bills, so we're going right. to keep on keeping on. Good news is our barn's getting there. Our barn looks great. Barn. That's the good news. Oh, look at here. Look, we got Foxy in the barn. Look at here, Foxy and great Sunny. Oh my gracious. While we live in the camper until we get our house built. Look at Foxy. I'm going to step there and see what's going on. She looks on. like she knows right where she's going. Maybe she helped build that wall. Maybe so. Oh, sunny, sunny. Oh, it is raining. I guess that's why it's coming I do want to get this crumbled rock Today? put into the bucket of the tractor. Okay. Or either pushed in here so it won't be full of water. Well, we can get in the tractor. It ain't raining that bad. Dates and coffee breaks, Tuesdays and random days. It's how we spend the worst days of our lives. Your sister doesn't like me much. Your father thinks that I'm a nut. Your son and daughter just don't wanna choose. I think it's time to get away and see. There's a big old world and it's calling you. Seattle's cold and I don't like New Orleans There's a place I know would fit for you and me Let's go to Carolina 
could start a new life Already my best friend Why don't you be my new wife? I don't like living You don't have much to trust in You're scared to love again I don't wanna miss